Good morning. So we are continuing on our trip here. Uh, yesterday morning we were in Burnsville, Minnesota and we found a bagel place called Brugger's Bagels that we tried for the first time and I was very impressed with it. So here in Iowa City we found they had another one and so we're going to try it again today. Yesterday I had a blueberry bagel with honey walnut cream cheese. It was very, very delicious. As I said, I was impressed so we're trying it again today. I went with something different today. I have a cinnamon sugar bagel here with strawberry cream cheese toasted. We're gonna go ahead and try it. I do like that they cut the bagels for you. Although it's not cut all the way, it does make it a little bit easier to pick up and eat, especially while traveling. Oh, look at all that cream cheese. It's dripping on my hand. Good? Mm-hmm. Cool. There's like strawberries actually in the cream cheese. These strawberries? Good well. stuff. Okay, and I got an onion bagel. And I chose to get the... Uh, The uh, olive and pimento green or cream cheese, excuse me, <laughs> green green cheese. <laughs> Look at the onions there on the top of the bagel. Lots Which is of how onions. I like them. So mm. really good. Okay, so Brugger's bagels. Um, I thought they were excellent. We had that three different days. Uh, uh, three different days on our four-day trip, <laughs> which sounds pretty bad, but uh, uh, the bagels were excellent. I had the uh, onion bagel every time. That's just me. I like onions. Um, I had the uh, chive sour cream or the chive cream cheese, excuse me, um, and it was really good. Um, but I had the olive and pimento cream cheese, and that was excellent. When I was a kid, we used to have this stuff, uh, came in a little tiny jar. Uh, they still make it now, it's called pimento spread, but I swear it used to be olive and pimento, and uh, it was really good, and I miss having that stuff when I was a kid, and uh, so to find that in cream cheese, I thought was awesome for a bagel place to carry that, so. I was really, really pleased with my bagels, and uh, the coffee there was really good. The Brugger's coffee was good. Uh, not all of them have, we discovered, not all of them have the Brugger's coffee. Uh, one had caribou uh, on one of the days we went, but uh, the Brugger's coffee was excellent. Definitely. Um, like he said, we did have the bagels the three different days, which is very impressive for me. I am not a big eating in the morning person. Um, so the fact that I had a bagel three mornings in a row was very impressive. Um, I tried a different one each day. I talked a little bit about them, uh, or two of them, and earlier in the video, or later in the video, you'll see later. Um, on the third day, I did have a different bagel yet. I had the um, oat grain bagel with the sriracha honey cream cheese. Um, it again also was very well, oh, very um, very flavorful, very good. Uh, a little little kick to the cream cheese, but not too bad. Um, the coffee, the Brugger's coffee, was definitely a plus. Um, two of them we went to did have that. The second day we went to it, it was caribou coffee. I was a little disappointed at first. I like caribou coffee, don't get me wrong, but I had really fallen in love with the Brugger's brew coffee the first day. So um, when I was able to get in the third day, that was definitely a hit. Um, I would definitely go to Burgers ba uh, Bagels simply for their coffee. It's probably one of the best coffees I've had in quite a while. Yeah, I did have coffee on Princess Cruise Line one time, and their coffee on the buffet was excellent. Um, that's about the only thing I can compare it to. It was really, really good coffee. So, just to point out, 
as you're going to see in a minute, I'm doing recaps like the end of the video. <laughs> and you're sitting there going, yeah, which you'll see in a minute. You're doing the intro after I've already done the... <laughs> It, I love you. It'll all work out, dear. Like I said, or we'll see in a minute, or you'll see it before this. I, <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying here. I'm winking it. I'm doing okay. Okay, I'm going to start Taylor's Made Right, but I'm going to do it as an intro first. Okay. And then I'll go back and do a recap. So if you want to do anything on the <laughs> intro, that's fine. Um,. But then we can do the recap. So there's a start and an end to it, kind of. Sounds like a plan. I'm just doing a video. Okay, so we're here in Iowa right now. And we found this little uh, gem out here. It is a pink farm. And then we looked at it, and it actually says me and my wife are pretty sure it's for it's out in the middle of nowhere there's nothing around here uh, we're pretty sure this is for people that probably just met on farmersonly.com we're guessing 